Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 13. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to identify and use arithmetic patterns to multiply. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can use the distributive property using units of 9. We know that 9 equals 10 minus 1. We can skip count by 9s by adding 10 and subtracting 1. So 9 times 1 equals 9, and 9 times 2 equals 9, plus 10 minus 1. So 9 minus 2 equals 9 plus 10 minus 1, or 19 minus 1, and that is the same as 18. 9 times 2 equals 18. We can find the product of 9 times 3 by adding 10 and subtracting 1. So 9 times 2 equals 18. 9 times 3 equals 18 plus 10 minus 1. That is 18 plus 10 minus 1, or 28 minus 1. Nine times three equals 27. We can find the product of nine times four by adding 10 and subtracting one. So nine times three equals 27. Nine times four equals 27 plus 10 minus one. That is, 27 plus 10 minus 1. 27 plus 10 is 37 minus 1. Nine times four equals 36. Let's check our work by adding together the digits in the product. Remember that the two digits in the product should equal 9. So 1 plus 8 equals 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9. And 3 plus 6 equals 9. All of them are correct. We know that 9 times 1 equals 9, so we can skip count by 9s by adding 1 to the number in the tens place of the product and subtracting 1 from the number in the 1's place. So as you can see, 9 times 1 equals 9. There's nothing in the 10's place, and there's a 9 in the 1's place. 9 times 2 equals 18. So we added 1 to the 10's place and subtracted 1 from the 1's place. Going on now to 9 times 3, we added another 1 in the 1's place, right here, and we subtracted 1 from the 1's place. There, so 9 times 3 equals 27. Let's solve 9 times 4 using the same strategy. Remember, to solve, we're going to subtract 1 from the 1's place, so 7 minus 1 equals 6. 
and we're going to add one to the tens place. So two plus one equals three. So nine times four equals 36. Now let's solve nine times five using the same strategy. Six minus one is five, and three plus one is four. Nine times five equals 45. All right, let's try the redraw right question using our strategies. Kylie says that if six times nine equals 54, then seven times nine must equal 63. Let's see if she's correct. She says that 6 times 9 equals 54, 6 times 9 equals 54, and we know that to find 7 times 9, we would subtract 1 from the 1's place. So now there's a three in the ones place, and we would add one to the tens place. So there's a six in the tens place. Remember also that we could check this answer by adding the two digits together in the product. Six plus three equals nine. So I've checked my work. Yes, Kylie is correct. I added one to the tens place and subtracted one from the ones place. I checked my answer by adding the digits in the product. So there's my census using complete information about how I solved and how I checked my answer. Now let's go over to the presentation and check our answer. Answer, yes, she is correct, because if you add a one to the number in the tens place, you get a six in the tens place. Subtract a one from the number in the ones place to get a three in the ones place. All right, now it's your turn to use your strategies in the read, draw, write question. For this problem, we'll, we'll read it together, then you'll pick out the most important information, you'll draw out your answer, and you'll write complete sentences to explain why he is correct or incorrect and explain your answer. So once we're finished reading it together, pause the video, do the work, and then when you're ready, go to the description box below and check your answer against the correct answer. Dominic says that if seven times nine equals 63, then eight times nine must equal 72. Is he correct? Explain your answer. Do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next lesson.